Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, let's discuss about National Building Code of India 2016. It has two volumes, Volume 1 and Volume 2. In this video, we are going to look into Volume 1. National Building Code of India 2016 is the comprehensive building code prepared by Bureau of Indian Standards is a national instrument providing guidelines for regulating the building construction activities across the country. It serves as a model code for adoption by all agencies involved in building construction works like public work department, other construction department, local bodies or private construction agencies. The code gives all the information required by architect, structural engineer, construction engineer, service engineer and other professionals from early stage of planning to translating the building onto final stage. So it is very important to know about the National Building Code of India for all the civil engineers. What are all the regulations are given in this code? So according to that, we need to follow for the construction of any project throughout India. So with that said, let's begin now. First, let me start with the overview of the National Building Code of India 2016 Volume 1. It has 0 to 6 parts. Part 0 is for integrated approach, part 1 is for definitions, part 2 is for administration, part 3 is for development control rules, part 4 is for fire and life safety, part 5 is for building materials and part 6 is for structural design. Similarly, volume 2 has part 7 to part 12. So overall we have 13 parts starting from part 0 to part 12. Under each part we will be having sections. Similarly, Volume 2 has Part 7 to Part 1. Part 7 is for Construction Management, Practices and Safety. Part 8 is for Building Services. Part 9 is for Plumbing Services. Part 10 is for Landscape Development. Part 11 is for Approach to Sustainability. Part 12 is for Asset and Facility Management. So, in this video, let me start with Part 6 that is structural design if you want any other part of this volume 1 or volume 2 please let me know in the comment box so that i can upload a separate video for that now let's look into the information for the users about availability of codes in groups so they have subdivided all the parts into groups group 1 is for development or building planning and related aspect in that part 0, part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4, part 5 and part 10 are included. Group 2 is for structural design and related aspects. So part 0 and part 6 are included in this group 2. Group 3 includes for aspects relating to construction and asset or facility management. That includes part 0, part 7, part 11 and part 12. Next group 4 that is aspect relating to building services that includes part 0 and part 8 and part 11. Next one is group 5 for aspect relating to plumbing services and solid waste management in that part 0, part 9 and part 11 are included. So in this way National Building Code of India has been subdivided into 5 groups. Along with this groups they have also given the note which says that the information contained in different groups will serve the concerned professionals dealing with the respective areas. So what are all the respective areas the professionals dealing with they have to refer these groups. However, it is advisable that professionals essentially dealing with any of the above group should also refer the other groups. As we have discussed before, let's start with part 6 structural design. This part provides for structural adequacy of building and usage of materials and technology for the building design. So it is divided into 8 sections, section 1 to 8. So in structural design, section 1 covers loads, forces and effects. So this section, so this section covers basic design loads to be considered for the structural design calculations of buildings. So that covers imposed load, wind load, seismic force and snow loads and other loads as well or minimum working loads which should be taken into consideration for the purpose of design. So this section also covers load calculation for rooftop helipad, load to be considered for parapets, balustrades, impacts and vibrations, imposed load due to fire tenders and emergency vehicles, maps on basic wind speed and seismic zones of India. So this is given in annexure of this section and also various imposed loads 
are given for different types of buildings next section 2 soil and foundation so this section covers geotechnical design of building foundations such as geotechnical investigation and exploration guidance geotechnical design of building foundation foundation system to ensure safety and serviceability without exceeding the permissible stress of the materials of foundation and bearing capacity of the supporting soil deep foundation including pile foundation shallow foundation including raft foundation ground improvement techniques these are very important factor which we need to be consider while doing structural design next section 3 that is for timber and bamboo 3a timber this subsection covers the general principles involved in design of structural timber in buildings including elements of structures connected by fasteners fastening techniques it also covers the engineering properties of various species of timber 3b bamboo This subsection covers the design of structural bamboo in buildings with regard to mechanical resistance and durability of structure. It also covers the engineering properties of various species of bamboo. Section 4 is for masonry. This section covers the structural design of unreinforced and reinforced masonry elements in buildings. This section also covers material general requirements, structural design of load bearing buildings, reinforced brick and reinforced brick concrete floors and roofs, special consideration from earthquake point of view, guidelines for improving earthquake resistance of low strength masonry buildings, confined masonry, guidelines for design of non load bearing walls and partitions masonry walls using rat trap bond technology next section 5 is for concrete this section covers structural designing of plain and reinforced concrete and pre-stressed concrete so this section has subdivided into following subsections 5a is for plain and reinforced concrete so this subsection covers general structural use of plain and reinforced concrete requirements of durable concrete production fire safety and protection from environment detailed design consideration for concrete strength up to m60 grade reinforcement requirements and detailing aspects for all types of structural elements special concretes like self compacting concrete high performance concrete and steel fiber reinforced concrete 5b is for pre stressed concrete so this subsection covers structural design aspects of pre stressed concrete works carried out on site and and the manufacture of pre cast pre stressed concrete unit updated provisions on end zones ultimate shear resistance etc section 6 covers steel this section covers the structural design aspects of steel structure in buildings this section applies to general construction using hot rolled steel section and steel tube joined using riveting bolting and welding this section covers the design by limit state method and plastic theory also enables design by working stress method next section 7 prefabrication system building and mixed composite construction so this has been subdivided into following subsection that is 7a is for prefabricated concrete this gives the recommendations regarding modular planning component sizes prefabrication system design consideration joints and testing manufacture storage transportation and erection other related requirements for prefabricated concrete Next one is 7B system buildings and mixed or composite construction so this covers recommendations regarding modular planning component sizes joints manufacture storage transport and erection of prefabricated elements other related requirements for system buildings and mixed or composite construction so this section 7 is basically for prefabrication prefabricated concrete and mixed composite construction like a composite construction in the sense it will be having prefabrication as well as in site construction next section 8 glass and glazing this covers the selection and application of glass buildings types of glass its requirements and associated glazing materials glazing in buildings with respect to its effect on energy visual and solar environments design of glass buildings subjected to wind design of glass buildings subject to wind loading seismic loading selection manifestation of glass in buildings subject to safety with respect to human impact of the occupants selection design fabrication install 
installation testing and maintenance of glassing systems so friends let's end up this video here it's a very vast one if you want any particular section like uh, under structural design itself we have eight section so if you want any particular section please let me know in the comment box so that i'll explain you that clearly so i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box if you like the content please do share it with your friends and hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching